Hey guys, and welcome to the next installment of The Young and the Restless. This is the and Miniature and Board Games. I'm Eric. I got a headache all of a sudden. <laughs> no, no. You didn't like that one? Hey, you know. But anyways, guys, today we're going to go ahead. We're going to unbox Imperial Assault Carriers for Star Wars Armada. As you guys have watched our videos know, we are Star Wars fans. And with the recent movie, Rogue One, I finally got the itch to buy this game. That fleet battle and the end of that movie is amazing. He needed such a big push. I, yeah, I know. Like, I need a big push to sink money into a game. But anyways. Yeah. So, let's go ahead. See what's on the inside. Stuff. Stuff. You did a bad job cutting this one open. Yeah, yeah. So, I'm telling you, the one thing though, you know, I, I like the fact they have the Ziplocs, but I think they need to make them just a hair bigger. Yeah. Alright. So, your counters. Uh, that stuff just pops out. I like everything else, they have the shield tokens, they have your action tokens. Um, you use this one to make your speed dial. Wow. And this one goes on the other dial for your actions. Butter, 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 butter. Um, everything usually comes in like two different classes. So this one has the uh, Gonza. It's class cruiser. and Gazanti. Gazanti is class assault carrier. You got different points because one's probably got better armament or better speed or something like that. Looks like they're both pregnant with some uh, some TIE Fighters. So, you have different character cards that you can add on. Vector, Suppressor, Jamming Field, Slicer Tools, Bomber Command, Comsnet, uh, Agent Collis, what was that, General Tog? Tag? Some of these I think are from like the animated series and stuff in the Clone Wars and I don't really watch that stuff so. Yeah. So you got your normal stand, dial, did they fall out too? Oh yeah. Oh, okay. So the Imperial Assault Transports, you know, it's still got, for as small as they are, they've got quite a bit of detail. Yeah, it's got a lot of detail. Got a lot of detail. Well, of course, you know, the, the wash, you know, if they put it through the wash, uh, that makes all those little nooks and crannies really pop. Mm -hmm. So, I think the the larger they get, though, the more detail they put into them. The smaller they are, I, I but it's still. I mean, as far as painting, it's right. still really nice, though. And you know, next to the Victory Class Star Destroyer, it's even, better. It's better. Well, it, it helps. First off, it's it's uh, Fantasy Flight. Second off, this is Star Wars, and it's you know Disney owns it, so there's a lot of money. Uh, that can make these, you know, these look good. Because we all know my novice versus, you know, Eric and Don's expert, I've seen enough miniatures and models to know that, you know, and it's not their fault, but the smaller the smaller companies and everything like that, they can't do miniatures with detail. It's real, you know, cut and dry, cookie cutter stuff, you know. These, even though there's a lot of the same models and stuff like that, there's a lot of detail in the thing. Well, you know, that's one thing with Fantasy Flight, where they, they lack a lot of times in their rule books. They make up for it in the detail of the figures. <sighs> Unless it's the game that we shall not mention. The game with no name. Ugh. Still love the figures for it though. <sighs> but anyways, guys, uh, so we bought these at our local gaming store, Discover Games in Fayetteville, Georgia. Stop in if you're in town, check it out. Large selection of games and an even larger gaming room. And they don't charge. Just walk in, plop down, and play. As always, guys, game on. Game on, everybody.